Uh, I told you guys I'm going to come back with one more video tonight. I'm um, talking about Mr. Jim Bob Cooter is expected to be retained by the Detroit Lions. They have notified the staff that they already going to cut and already named some new coaches, like a new offensive line coach as well. We'll be back as Motor City Sports Talk. And, um, you know, the podcast link is in the description. Uh, subscribe. I'm kind of going to mesh it with my other channel. Like I told you, I'll put my other channel link in the description. It's called the Boxing Clinic and More. But it's it's, it's primarily built off, you know, boxing. I talked that as well. But there's a sports in there as well. And other uh, informative information. You like entertainment, music, politics, a little bit of that. A lot of boxing, a lot of NFL, a lot of NBA, stuff of that nature. And, um... You know, I'm going to link my podcast with that. I kind of split the names up. So the Lions and Pistons and all that podcast will be right there in the link. So when it comes up, and subscribe and download the CastBox uh, app as well. Um, so you know these trailed in. Another channel for the guys that want to hear the draft talk with me and my boy JG um, forming together. We'll do that in podcast as well. The other channel link is in the description as well. But um, Jim Bob Quarter is expected to be retained by the Lions. It's no shocker to us. We heard it. We in the city. We know Quarter coming back. And Jim Bob Quarter did good the first time, but... Just failed to uh, learn how to run the ball. That's what he failed at to me. And some of his play calls was, like, horrible. And it was a cry after Joe Lombardi left and after Jim you know, Bob Cooter had some terrible play calling and some, you know, still play calling that people was asking for Caldwell to take over the play calling. He didn't. He didn't want to save his job. He didn't want to, under, you know, undercut Jim Bob Cooter. He got cut off from the team. So, you know, um, you can't make them cold-hearted cuts as well. And you want to be a people person. And you don't want to save your own job. Well, you're going to lose your job, and that's pretty much what happened to Jim Caldwell. But I think Cooter could do some things. I think them bringing in a new offensive line coach when I was reading a little bit that he's going to bring a different run system and some different run schematics. And I think that's the Lions' biggest problem is being able to run the ball in every facet of the run game. You're talking about explosive breakoff plays. You're talking about short yardage plays. You're talking about good first down yard runs. You're talking about the ability – to kind of maybe run it on third and three to kind of throw off the defense. They can't do nothing. Goal line, you know, fourth and inches. I mean, every facet of the run game, when you talk about situational football, they suck at it when it comes to running the ball. And it's amazing how Stafford is able to still to get those numbers. You know, even if a lot of people think it's, it's garbage time numbers, you know, never really seeing an eight or nine man box unless it's like fourth and inches or something like that. And it's amazing that his red zone numbers is as high as they is with no run threat as well. So, I think Cooter can get it together. I think with a new coaching staff and some new offensive coaches, I think he can look at himself and evaluate the offense and himself and Stafford this year and, and find a way to run the ball. You know, I think that's his biggest thing. And mixing up the play calling. Stop. And if you if he's committed to the run, he's running the ball on first down 80% of the time if he's committed to the run. Then he'll get away from the run. And then he'll keep running on first down. I mean, He's going to get better because he's one of the guys that's a rising star in football. You know, Tennessee wanted to interview him for the Wilds job. I think he passed it up. He wanted to stay in the NFL and stay with the Lions. And I think that this dude can turn it around. I'm gonna show some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show some faith in Jim Bob Cooter because I know when he first got here, um, calling the, the offense from Joe Lombardi, um, he did a very good job. And it's just he needs to just look at other offenses and see how they utilize their talent. Look at the Patriots. Even you know when they lose a guy, let's say they had Edelman. He was able to eat up the inside. I mean, you can bracket Edelman, do what you want, but you had to worry about Hogan, Gronkowski, and then before he got injured, it would have been Brandon Cooks this year. But, you know, the Lions just don't use Golden Tate in the right way. You know, they got all the offensive weapons from throwing the ball, you know, besides the tight end position. We know what's going on there. But they have to find some go-to plays, some go-to um, formations, some, some rub concepts, some – um, unbumpable, you know, type of routes that the Patriots put their players in. It's a system. He has to find a system that works. You know, a system where he's able to pocket some some plays in the back pocket for critical situations or the playoffs or in some in some in some creativity. You know, they had some creativity last game this year with the Green Bay Packers with a nice little trick plays and some nice plays. But he has to find the guts, the balls, and the glory to be creative when football matters. And I think he can do that. Remember, this dude is is, is is a fresh offensive coordinator in NFL level. You know, I think he don't have nowhere to go but to, nowhere to go but up. And I believe he will go up. And I, I believe the Lions truly believe that. I believe it may have been Jim Caldwell holding him back a bit. And I'm interested to see where this where this offense goes. And I know Matt Patricia, people say he's a defensive guy. 
But to be a defensive guy, you got to understand offenses. And I'm pretty sure he's going to have his input about what the Lions do. And I don't think if they didn't believe in Jim Bob Cooter, he wouldn't be, reta- he wouldn't be retained. So I'm going to put some faith in Jim Bob Cooter. I'm pretty sure, you know, they probably going to get this run game together. If they get the run game together, the way the NFC is looking, you know, Matt Ryan not looking that good. Rodgers getting a little bit older. Breeze getting older. Cam Newton and Jamie Winston is not taking the league by, by the NFC by the horns. The Seahawks doing some turnover. The, the Cardinals going through what they're going through. The Rams are rising up. The Eagles are good. But the Lions have opportunity to make some noise next year. They can get the defense right, get the running game right. But don't forget, the podcast link is in the description. Uh, I split the name up between my other channel. If you want to check out my other channel, the link is in the description. We talk more than boxing. Don't let the name fool you. It's a good conversation on there, man. And uh, definitely appreciate y'all rocking out with me. We're going to continue to go hard. We're going to.